When we walked into the band room at Grossmont High School, we knew that we were going to see a lot of guitars, but to really see 250 donated guitars just laying out, it really pulls at your guitar strings to show this is what community is all about. These guitars were given by people from the community. Grossmont High School guitar students will be able to strum their own guitar from home during Zoom class. You get to learn a new instrument. It's like a whole new other culture. Middle finger here. I'm actually like really excited about this because I've always wanted to play guitar. And play it well. Maybe get a, a girlfriend or something. I don't know. <laughs> to keep students from fretting over buying a new guitar. I really don't have the money to spend on a guitar and I feel like that's really helpful. Brandon Lopez's guitar teacher and Grossmont High School alum Jeremy Cook saw the music on the wall. We need to get guitars for these kids or at least try. So he went to social media asking for donated guitars. I started putting them, you know, oh, there's one and two and three. And then all of a sudden it was like a jam packed room of guitars like this high. The goal was 80 guitars, but the donations amplified. Her first guitar chord. Jeremy traveled 3,000 miles across the county from Fallbrook to San Ysidro. To me, the real heroes are the donors, and the, without them, none of this would have been possible. Donors from loved ones who passed away. One woman, uh, you know, shared that, you know, she was had later stages of, of breast cancer, and, and she really wanted to see her guitar uh, live on. At the end of the year, each student will return their guitar so a new student will be able to strum a new tune. Go ahead and strum it. <laughs> Not the best, but I mean, I'll get better. <laughs> if you have a guitar that's collecting dust and you want it to live on, just contact Jeremy. You can also help out with these kids to record their music. Just go to our website at cbs8.com, click on the story.